Hello. Perhaps you happen to hear such expressions as Maros Shipit, Maros Kusayet. How's that? It's interesting to realize that as merciless and ruthless as frost can be, it's Dead Maros, or literally Grandfather Frost, who is associated with New Year's celebration in Russia, which is widely recognized as the most popular and joyful celebration of the many Russian festivities during the year. The sort of a contradiction isn't there. The irony is that he can be both kind and harsh. Откуда такая чудо-юда? Из дому. Из дому? А тепло эти девица? Тепло, батюшка Морозушка. Тепло. And when are the strongest frosts? The strongest frosts are epiphany frosts. Maybe anybody heard about them? In Russia, these hard frosts usually come on the day to Epiphany. That's why they became known as Epiphany frosts. At this time, the ocean on the Asian side of the country start to lose the warming effect on the continent. The Asian anticyclone commences to prevail there. That's how they prepare the cross-shaped ice hole for the epiphany dipping at my place, Blagoveshensk city, 2023, Rivazie. Please note that crest, крещение, come from the verb крестить. Can you imagine that kind of swimming or dipping? Probably you've got goosebumps just thinking about it. I envy people who are accustomed to ice hole dipping, and I happen to know such people, but I'm far from it myself because it goes without saying that just to have a wish is not enough. One has to be prepared, to be tempered, hardened. When it's the epiphany night at our city, if you go out at midnight for some water, which has been proved to acquire special healing powers, you can see and hear an endless parade of the cars whose owners are returning from the riverside, light beams dancing up and down, tires rustling, engines whining, winter whistling. Some of them went out for the dipping, others to support their friends and family or just to have fun watching and talking and breathing in their festive atmosphere. Many people go out to haul up some holy water supplies for the year. Some go to the local churches, others go for spring water or just local water pump supplies. As all the water is believed to be holy that night and has special capacities even on physical and chemical level, not just religiously. Like I said, I admire people who go for epiphany dipping regularly, but it gives me the shudders just to think about it without mentioning watching it, especially when we're talking about Yakutsk, where the temperature is around 50 to 60 Celsius below zero, not 30 to 40 below zero, which is the coldest it gets at my city. Some tents might be arranged for epiphany dipping, but really the temperature is the same as outside. They just provide a temporary shelter from winter wind and snow. Some people, especially young people who've been hitting the juice, might just go with the public spirit and go for some dipping just because. For fun, but of course it's dumb and dangerous. One has to have perfect health and to practice tempering regularly and to believe in what they do and what they do that for. It's especially gratifying to receive a warm greeting in winter. You probably know that Kazakhstan used to be a part of the USSR, same as Russia. Now these are independent countries, but the guys decided to support us nonetheless, which is of course extremely important and pleasant. Почему казахи, почему люди другой веры также купаются в проруби? Хочу сказать одно: для нас это адреналин, и так же как вы поддерживаете наши праздники, так и мы должны уважать ваши. Живем в одном общем доме под названием Казахстан. И кроме как быть друзьями и братьями, для нас нет другого выбора. Люби свою страну не только когда и бывает плохо.
And this is Kazakhstan again. Во всех православных храмах страны этим вечером начались праздничные молебны. После них верующие пройдут крестным ходом к местам безопасного купания. Их в стране 250. So, today we have learned мороз щиплет, мороз кусает, крещенские морозы. Now we are going to learn the saying of the day and to practice our favorite shabby sound. Трещи, трещать, to crack, crackle, crunch, мороз, frost, не, no, not, а, but, and, минули, минуть, to pass, be over, be past, водокрещи. Вода плюс О плюс крещение. Эпифани. Трещи мороз, не трещи, а минули водокрещи. Whether the biting frost is crackling or not, Epiphany day is behind. By the way, did you know that the Russian word consists from only two letters, where one can make eight mistakes trying to spell it? Right, that's another word we have already learned in the other video. She. Russian Empress Catherine the Great spelled it as she when she was still a German princess. None of the eight letters was correct. There was also another word she used to misspell. Isho. Get a clue as to which word she had in mind. Please subscribe, tap like and leave your opinion in comments below.